So Esther, you know, budget is in two weeks from now and people are expecting it to be an expansionary one. But you know, in a nutshell, what are people expecting? Bigger projects or more like targeted projects? First of all, we have to understand probably, you know, talk about why it will be an expansionary one. Yeah. Mainly because uh, cause of the how the economic condition is. So we are expecting a slower growth next year, right? And okay, then there's yeah. all these issues about the trade war, mm. which uh, there's no no resolution yet. So it's going to in impact uh, the global growth. Okay. So that's why um, there is a need for uh, probably an expansionary budget now. As to whether we are expecting mm. bigger projects or not, um, I think um, at this point, what I've been told is that Definitely, we will see. We will likely see an increase in the development expenditure. Okay. This means all the construction-related stuff. But whether it or not it's a mega project or not, um, probably not. Uh, it will probably be you know stuff like building schools, uh, buildings, uh, offices, build, the smaller offices, scale. Yeah, projects. yeah, the smaller okay. scale projects because it has higher multiplier effect. Okay. And uh, it will probably you know help to sort of uh, sustain or at least support. Economic growth. Okay, so I saw quite a few analysts talking about how the government shouldn't be so obsessed with uh, fiscal deficit, but and you know last year it was about being conservative, but this year are we? What is it? Is is there going to be a different theme? People are saying that we shouldn't be so obsessed about fiscal the fiscal deficit target is in light of the slowing economic, economic growth. Uh, so every time when there's a slowdown in economic growth, the expectation is for the government to sort of uh, help to support growth, which means the government will need to spend a little bit more, which would mean that your naturally your budget, your deficit figure might go up because there's more expenditure, right? Okay. Yeah, so, but at the same time, they are saying that, they, I mean, they, they do agree that the government has to be disciplined in their fiscal spending. So you don't overspend or you don't spend excessively where it's unnecessary. So it's... Um, Spending always has to be targeted. So this is not really a new thing. It's something that um, people hope for every budget. Right. So this is the second time that PH is going to announce the budget, the second time since they took over as government last year. The people you spoke to, are they concerned about anything for budget 2020? Well, they are concerned of the economic outlook. Okay. So what they are hoping that the government can do is to, in light of the economic slowdown, is to sort of uh, also while spending prudently, yeah. uh, you know, government spending, what they are hoping as well is to help to spur the private investment. private investment. Yeah, so meaning the private sector, be it the foreign direct investment or the domestic direct investment. So they believe that, you know, if the government sort of um, provides some measures or Incent incentives does not necessarily mean a tax incentive, yeah. but some kind of uh, support or boost for the private sector, uh, then probably it could help, the private sector would help to support the economic growth mm. during difficult times. Mm. Because, uh, I mean, we all know, even I think our Prime Minister also had mentioned that we cannot rely on the government sector government alone to yeah. to boost spending or to you know support the entire economy the private sector has to get involved as well one thing that you mentioned a lot of times was taxes and tax reform mm. is it possible that we would be seeing a major tax reform this time around the tax experts they don't think that there will be a major tax reform coming also again the issue the main reason is because of the economic slowdown so every time when there's um, an economic slowdown it's not they say it's not a good time to introduce tax reforms, right? Because what you really need at that time is to help to spur the economy to grow and yeah, things like that. But uh, of course, there will be certain tax measures. Every year, um, people hope for you know lower corporate taxes, maybe or lower um, personal income taxes. Yep. For more on the story, pick up a copy of the Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.